Hello everybody, this is um, Mischief Wow, and I'm back for uh, another guide. This video is going to be on macros. Um, any macros that I discuss in this video, you'll be able to find them in the description below the video, so you can check those out if you want to uh, use them for your character. You can apply them to different spells, um, whatever you are using. So the first macro that I have here on my one key is a macro that pops a cooldown and an ability. Now normal macros like this when you pop it if the cooldown isn't ready your character will yell at you that the ability is not ready yet and if you just want to have it on your bar and hit it as your normal and the cooldown will go off every time it's ready you're gonna have your character screaming at you a lot that the ability is not ready but for the macro it won't. So like I said before you can look in the description for the exact macro. So this specific macro um, is going to cast shield block which I have here just so you can see that it actually is getting popped and then devastate. Now if you use the, uh, I'll open up my macro window, if you use this question mark symbol as the icon for your macro it is going to display the icon that the ability is. It will not show the tooltip unless you write n number show tooltip, whatever ability. Alright, so I'm just going to build up some rage so that it'll actually work. So now, when I hit my one key, you see it pops shield block and there's a cinder armor, which is just showing that uh, devastate went off. So that's the uh, first macro. This next macro will not work for all classes. It's a macro that uses a different ability depending on what stance you're in. It'll work for warrior stances, um, druid shapeshifts, and I'm not going to bother listing all of them, but you know what I mean. Now, if you want to apply it, you'll use the... It'll be in the description, but you're going to want to fill in... Your battle stance will be stance 1, because it's the first one. Defensive is 2. Berserker is 3. So it's just how many it is from the left. That's the stance number, which you're going to write in the macro. So when I'm in defensive stance, it's going to cast Thunderclap. When I'm in battle stance, it'll cast Overpower, which I can't use because they haven't dodged or parried. And then in Berserker stance, it's going to cast uh, Whirlwind. So that's that macro. Next macro is a modifier. So this macro is basically when you hold down Shift, Control, or Alt, it will cast a different spell. So when I I'm holding nothing, it will cast Heroic Throw. When I hold Shift, I just have to back up to use it, it will cast Throw. When I hold Control, it will cast Shattering Throw, which I have to switch into Battle Stance to use. And when I hold Alt, it will also cast Shattering Throw, just because I find I get my Alt and Control keys mixed up. So, there's that. Um, this macro I have on all my characters. It's just a macro that pops both of my trinkets. Now usually they have a shared cooldown and will only pop one, uh, one of the two, if they both have an unused, but then uh, if you pop it again when the other one comes back, it'll do that one instead. This macro is a random mount macro. So when I hit it, I have three mounts in here. I believe I have the brown ram and two different color sabers. So I'll just show you that. So there, those are the three mounts that I have, and one came up twice. This macro is good for if you have multiple ground or land mounts that you like to ride, and you don't have a particular favorite, and you just want to choose one of them at random just by clicking your mount button. Uh, you can also apply this to spells by doing slash cast random change slash use random to slash cast, ran cast random. I don't know an exact scenario when you'd use that. Uh, back in Wrath, Red Pallies would be able to do that because all their abilities didn't really matter. You just kind of spammed whatever was active, but it will now try and cast the spell it's doing until it's up, so it won't just cast the first available spell. Um, this next one 
is a, I don't have a, uh, I guess a tooltip on this one, but it's going to cast a sequence of spells, so let me just get my rage up. Alright, now I'm going to let my rage is full, so first click, it's going to cast rend, second clap, click, thunderclap, and third click, shockwave. So there's that. Um, so I just got to get out of combat. So this macro is actually a switch spec, and it will work as soon as I'm considered out of combat. So when I click on it, it's going to automatically change my spec. So I'm changing from prot to arms. And when I click it again, I have it over here in this spec. I also have any other one, but for the video, I put it on my secondary bar. It's going to switch back to uh, protection. So that's just easy without having to open up your talent section, click on your unactive one, and hit activate. Uh, it's just a quick one click. And then this last macro is a macro that sells all your gratums. Now there are add-ons that do this, but if you don't have room on your computer, or you just don't want to, I don't know why I'm lagging so badly, but like I was saying, if you don't want to download any extra add-ons, even if they're small, for whatever reason, you can just use this macro and it's just quick and easy unfortunately some things that you would always want to sell like shiny fish scales or fish oil or junk like that it won't sell it'll only sell items that are considered so great and I have no clue why I am lagging this much this is crazy um, so I actually went to the auction house and bought 12 of these grays for a couple silver just for this video because I didn't feel like going out and finding some. But so what happens is when I press this while I'm at the vendor, it's gonna sell all my grays, which was just those ones, and it's gonna say right here in your chat box what it sold and how much money it made total. Now this was 84 copper, but if I had two items like five copper and five copper, it would say whatever gray, whatever gray, ten copper. So it's just a uh, sells all your basic junk um, but like I said it's not going to sell every single useless thing um, be careful using this macro if there's any gray pieces of armor that you click you if you click the macro while you're not at a vendor it'll equip any gray armor so I guess this is going to do it there's a uh, not really much more to say um, if you have any macros that you'd like to share if you send me a PM on YouTube, I'll probably put it in the description if it's good and it works. And I'll say your YouTube channel. Uh, remember to subscribe, like, favorite, share. Check out my main channel, Nerd Films B Baller. I got a couple cool new videos on there. Got a remix type video that got a lot of hate for no reason. And I'm burping a lot because I'm drinking pop or soda for the Americans. And, uh,. Yeah, also recommend any guides or solo attempts because I'm not having many great ideas. I might do an add-on guide video later or something. But uh, I'm kind of just rambling now because this video is probably really short. You stayed too long if you're watching this, but... These are my 485s and my level 83 because I'm addicted to this game. Goodbye.